Well, hello, friends. You know, I was putting on my face today and I was like, face, you know, you've got some great products you've been using lately. Do you wanna share that with your friends? So guess what? My face said yes. So today, I thought I would do something a little different and I'm gonna say, these are a few of my favorite things. Now, as I started thinking, yes, my face has a lot to talk about, but what about my stomach? It has some favorite things. And what about my body? It's got some favorite things. And so I'm gonna do a little, uh, I don't know how many in the series, but I'm gonna do a few of my favorite things. Hey, it works for Oprah, so mm, why can't I do it? Here's the difference. I'm not getting paid. <laughs> no, no, here's the thing. I am going to tell you the few of my favorite things from an honest friend. I'm not getting paid, I'm not sponsored by any of these people, and I even got some things that I like for some reasons but not for others, and I'm gonna tell you the honest truth. Not, I'm an advertisement. No, this is girlfriends, we talking, we're sharing information. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I have rosacea really bad, I've talked about that before, it's really bad. And so there's very few products that I can use on my face. Well, I'm getting older. And so it's starting to become an issue because I'm thinking, at this point, I should probably already have a whole regime of makeup things, preventing fine lines and creases that they talk about in ads. It's like, oi, fine lines and creases, no! It's too late, I've done been creased. But I can't use hardly anything. So at night, I sometimes take off my makeup. I know, don't judge. But lately I've been more apt to do it because I found a product that I love. Yeah, uh-huh, looky here. It's by the Oil of Olay, or I guess it's just Olay brand, no more Oil Of. And this is called Tone Serum Max. Okay, this, after you remove your makeup, they say you can do it twice a day. I've only been doing it once because I didn't know if it was gonna cause a flare-up or not. Nothing. An eyedropper, you squirt it on and you rub it. My skin within three days, and I, like I said, I'm being honest, within three days, the whole texture had changed completely. It's supposed to brighten. It's supposed to, like I have some um, sunspots. They ain't no age spots. And if you say they are, we ain't friends. No, no, it's sunspots. It's lightened probably on a scale from one to 10. I'm saying it's lightened by a, up to a six. Yeah. It's make a difference. My skin is smoother. Sometimes when you rub your hand, I, I know this is gonna be a gross analogy, but I'm gonna tell you. You know, you wake up in the morning and you go, why are my teeth so hairy? <laughs> they just feel bumpy. And then you go in and you brush your teeth and they feel so, so slick and just clean. For some reason, when I wake up in the morning, I put this on at night, I wake up in the morning, it's like somebody brushed my face with Colgate <laughs> overnight. My skin is softer, it's smoother, it has gotten rid of some of those fine lines and wrinkles. Booyah, definitely recommend no burning. Sometimes the hydrochloric acid things, you're like, ouch, It. why is it hurting? All good, okay. Next thing is, I'm not a false eyelash girl. Here's why. Inevitably, one of mine decides to go rogue. Yeah, and then I look like, remember that Carol Burnett character? That's what happens to me when I wear falsies. <laughs> That's what we used to call them back in the day. Falsies are a whole different thing now. False eyelashes. But my daughter started doing makeup and we had family pictures a few weeks ago. And she says, mom, let me, seriously, I'm gonna put these on. I said, I do not wanna look in my family pictures and go, who's that lady with your dad? <laughs> no, sometimes false eyelashes can be so much, you don't even look like yourself. These little suckers right here, um, Ardell Professional Wispies. Look at how wispy, <laughs> that's the name, they are. You can wear these and you can't even tell you have anything on other than, dang, your eyes look big and bright today. I'm telling you what, the photographer's like, okay, take pictures. And I'm like, mm, mm, mm. The eyelashes did it, they did it for me. I was suddenly a supermodel. I'm telling you, we have a little tube of glue. Oh, I should have brought that in here, too far away. Um, but you just use a little bit of glue, you let it get tacky, and then you just stick them on. It stayed on through the whole thing. And at the end of our pictures, it started raining. I didn't have a tarantula on my cheek. 
No, they stayed put. Highly recommend, they only enhance. And I thought, am I gonna blink like this? I can't open them, they're too heavy. Because I've had false eyelashes back in the day that I tried and I thought, my gosh, my eye muscles aren't strong enough to open my eyes. I looked sultry all the time, but that's because my eyelashes were too heavy. <laughs> These, I legitimately forgot I even had them on. Highly, highly recommend. Well, same thing. Before the pictures, my daughter ordered a new palette. Oh, by the way, I got those at Ulta. She ordered a new palette, and when she got it, also from Ulta, it is the Tarte Tartlet. Just saying it. What are you wearing? Oh, the Tarte Tartlet. I don't know. That just sounds, mm, just, just cute. Yeah, it's cute. Well, she got it. And look at this little one here in the corner. Oh, it had a boo-boo. So she called Alta and said, look, when I got this in the mail, one of the colors was broken. They immediately sent her another one. And she said, well, mom, I'm gonna use this one for work, but you need to try these colors. I got not only a palette, but a free one. Look at these colors, you guys. Oh my gosh, in this lighting, you can see the shimmers. Okay, I can't use a lot of glitter in my eye eyeshadow because for one it settles and then you look 10 years older i'm i'm going for 10 years younger not older and it gives it makes my eyes really dry these the shimmer no eye drying no settling mm -mm. they you've got your pinks you've got your gold you've got your this one's more of a taupey it matches every outfit and they, they go on a little bit brighter than even what's in the, the palette. And so for summer, they're really fun. I mean, there's some peachy ones here that I've been wearing. And, oh, I don't have it on today. I have the mauve. I went more mauve today. But these up here, oh, they're the funnest summer colors. Yours like, oh, I feel Caribbean. Mm. You know, doing a hula and you can only see my top half. It lost some of the effect. Here, let me see if I can back up. This is what you weren't seeing. There was a whole lot of action going on from here down. Mm -hmm. Okay, foundation. Because of rosacea, blah, blah, blah. I wear a, a heavy coverage makeup foundation. But in the summer, I'm a freckly girl and I like my freckles. Angel kisses from heaven, you know. Mm -hmm. And now I have grandbabies with freckles. I'm so proud. But in the summer, I like a little more natural look. I swear by this. Oh, <laughs> obviously, I used it has makeup on it. Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. Now, here's the honesty part. I'm not fond of Bare Minerals stuff. Um, it goes on heavy. To me, it's clunky. And it settles in the lines so bad. I I'm not fond of their products. I, I but I know a lot of people are. I have a friend, she swears by me, and she always looks like a million bucks. It just doesn't work on my skin. And that's all good, we're all different. You be you, girl, you be you. But here's the deal. This goes on and you look dewy all day, which is what you want in the summer. But it's it's um, full cover. oh no, not full coverage. I'm gonna say medium coverage. So it gives me some good color and it, it smooths me out but you can still kind of see through and see that you've got some actual summer color. As a matter of fact, I had a little bit of um, sun-kissed cheekbones the other day and they showed through this. Oh, I just felt so youthful and perky that day. Mm, mm, mm. So yeah, this goes on. You might want to put it on with a sponge though. I did find because it is so emollient that putting it on with your fingers, it just didn't feel like it went on smoothly, but then I just got my little makeup sponge and just splotched Oh, holy cannoli. Seriously, it stayed on all day. It didn't settle. And so, Bare Minerals, you may have me yet. Mm. Okay, after you put on your makeup, not this one. This one's for just, uh, I'm just trying to be free and easy, sun-kissed Stacy day. But on the days when you're a little more formal and perhaps putting on your wispies, you need a little bit of a setting spray. I don't like setting sprays. Why? Because if I'm gonna use a setting spray, I'm gonna use my hairspray and just go ahead and finish off down here. That's what it feels like to me. Literally, I've used setting sprays and when it was done, you're like, when I smile, it crunches. Is it supposed to crunch? <laughs> no, I have to feel natural and organic. Guess 
guess who made one for me then? Morph. Morph, this one is the Continuous Setting Spray. Just spray a little bit. I mean, it goes on very, very fine. And literally, remember when I was telling you about our family pictures? We use this. It was a rainy day. We got home out of the rain. My makeup looked picture per <laughs> picture perfect. I didn't even do that on purpose. Yeah. It, it made it that set that even in the rain, I looked fabulous. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then... I'm all about that lips, about that lips. Well, yeah. And I always am looking for my next favorite lipstick or lip gloss. Oh, holy cannoli. Hey, I just realized it's more false. So I got this and this, well, and this from Ulta. I am not promoting Ulta. It's just our makeup store here in town. Okay, I ordered this online and it came in three shades of sample bottles. Okay, they're these tiny ones you can see. Boop that big. Okay. I loved every shade so much. I bought the mama size. I got the baby and the mama. Oh, holy cannoli. This one particularly, I ain't got my glasses on. Um, oh, it's called groupie. I could see that it's big. <laughs> it is amazing. I don't know if you can see, but there's see that little shimmer. There's a little bit of shimmer in there that really gives a lot of pop to your lip gloss. I line with a matte or a regular um, a pencil because sometimes glosses want to migrate and they just take off and like create tributaries all through your lips. Did you hear? That was my husband talking to the dogs and I snapped my fingers at him. That was awful. I could do that with my kids. I should do that with my husband. My apologies, let's move on. Pretend none of that happened. But if you're married, you get it. Okay, anyway, this is not a sticky lip gloss. It goes on beautifully. It's got great color. It stays color all day. And, but it's not sticky and it's certainly not drying. It's really, as a matter of fact, one night I came in and I was like, oh, my lips feel chapped. And I'm like, where's my chapstick? I put some of this on. It was that, um, I don't wanna say lubricating, but it was that moisturizing. There we go. So, highly recommend the Morph, particularly the Groupie, but whatever these are. You can't really miss them. They have a very unique and distinct, I guess I could put a link down below. So, I'll try that. I'm not really good at that. I always promise you guys I'll do that. I hope you don't have trust issues. I don't mean to lie. <laughs> I just, I sometimes can't figure them out. Okay, this is my favorite thing. <gasps> Drum roll, please. This is what I was putting on that I'm like, I have to tell you guys about. This is what my face wanted to say. Look at this. Okay, look at the cute little tin. I bought it for the tin, and here's why. My grandmother used to have something called rosebud salve. It smelled just like roses. And I remember as a kid, if you had skin knee, grandma would put rosebud salve on it. If you had a mosquito bite, grandma would put rosebud salve. Then you would go, um, grandma, my lips are trapped here. And she'd pull it out. She'd always keep it in her bra. She'd pull it out and she'd put it on. Grandma's rosebud salve. I don't know what else she used it for. And the fact that she made me put it on as chapstick, I don't want to know what else she used it for. But she always had the cute little tin. Well, I saw this on Ulta's website. This is not a promotion for Ulta. And I thought, ah, that looks like the little tin Grandma used to have. And it, I really wanted some strawberry chapstick. One of my favorite summer flavors. And I thought, but you know, chapstick for me can be drying. And sometimes it's just so heavy that you're just like, you're, you're almost glad. It, it, it like, it never melts into your skin. I found your solution. Okay, this one is, hold on. Can you see at the bottom? I didn't realize this is Rosebud. Son of a gun! I didn't realize that. I just noticed when I was re... No wonder I love it. it makes me think... I'm sorry, I digress. I was gonna... Look, this is... I, I've got to move on. Rosebud sap. Oh, this is a memory of my grandma. This is what it looks like, and I wish you could smell. Sniff really hard. Okay, imagine strawberries and cream. Yeah, you just put a little on. I mean, I could smell it from here. It, it makes your mouth water. It's so strawberry real strawberry forward. Okay, it is strawberry lip balm. A little bit you put on, 
it immediately melts into your lips, but you taste it all day. Well, not all day, but you know, for hours and hours. And you can sit and later go, and you can still feel that it's there, but it doesn't run. It's never goopy. It's never sticky. It's never heavy. My favorite summer product, highly, highly recommend. You can see, you can't see it like that because it's upside down. <laughs> now you can see it. Yeah, apparently by Rosebud Company. So those are my few makeup things that I love right now. And who knows, it could change this winter. So I'm gonna come back here in a little bit and I'm gonna tell you my five new favorite snacks. Mm. Come on, tell me, get in there and tell them your story. All right, I'll be back soon.